Isn't it cute? of justice, peace, and equality. As young adults, we are growing to maturity in a time of danger. Danger exemplified by sexually transmitted diseases, warfare, and injustice. Therefore, as a class, a generation, and as individuals, we must, we must join hands to imagine and dream of a better world. Imagine that young women had exactly the same opportunities as young men. Imagine 
that preserving the wildlife and the environment were major concerns of every human. Imagine that we become able to use our racial and ethnic diversity as a strength rather than something that separates us. Imagine a world where the physically and mentally disabled would not, would not be subjected to devastating discrimination. Dream indeed of a world without sexism, without racism, without homophobia. Dream of a world without drugs. Dream of a world without gangs. Gangs such as the Skinheads, the Ku Klux Klan, the Bloods, and the Crips. Imagine and dream of a world where our judicial system works to protect all of our rights. Dream of a world where men like Rodney King could not be maliciously beaten by officers of the LAPD. Dream of this world, dream and imagine. But my brothers and sisters of all races, we must do more than engage in flights of imagination. We must stand up, unite, speak out, and fight for a better world. Our generation has yet, has yet to produce great leaders such as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. John F. Kennedy, and Malcolm X. But we hold in our hands the power, the power to lead this country in a direction in which only we can navigate. Finally, my fellow classmates, after today, we may all go our separate ways. With us, we will carry memories of the past 13 years of education. We will remember the good times and the bad times. But most of all, we will remember our friends, administrators, teachers. Remember those here today, as well as those who are not. Have love and understanding and respect for every member of this class. Realize that your classmates will, as Jesse Jackson would say, be somebody. Today, tomorrow, 30 years from now, we will all be somebody. classrooms in Lawrence, Kansas, and all over the country. They were about to embark on a long and difficult quest. A quest that humankind has sought through the ages. A quest of great magnitude. A quest to be educated. Today, 12 years, 9 months, and 21 days later, the 540 surviving members... We lost a few. ...assemble in Memorial Stadium to graduate from Lawrence High School. I think a round of applause is in order, don't you? But wait, wait, what exactly happened in those 12,392 hours in the classroom? How many, how many lessons were learned from the 3,218 of those little milk cartons with safety raccoon on the side? <laughs> and where the hell did recess go? <laughs> well, recently, Willie and I took a close look at our 13 years of state-mandated education. We came up with a short list of a few of the things we have learned. And now, without further ado, the things we have learned and the lessons we, and the things we know now that we didn't know then. Everything I ever really needed to know, I learned from my 13 years in the Lawrence Public School System. In kindergarten, we found out that staying home and playing with mom is a lot more fun than going to school. <laughs> Sharing sucks. <laughs> 
Meeting new people is, is always scary at first, but most people are really neat once you get to know them. Anything fun gets you in trouble. <laughs> in first grade, we figured out that half days of kindergarten are much nicer than full days of first grade. Reading and writing is not as easy as it looks. School lunches are gross. <laughs> in second grade, we found out that kissing girls is icky. <laughs> and if you work hard, the teacher will put stickers on your assignment. And no matter how hard they try to disguise it, there will always be a slow group, a medium group, and a fast group for everything. <laughs> In third grade, we found out that sometimes they can take away afternoon nap time and snack, and there's just nothing you can do about it. <laughs> there are some things that you should just say no to, like when somebody dares you to go all the way around on the swings. <laughs> the principal pays more attention to the kids who break the rules than to anybody else. Fourth grade, penmanship always counts. Cursive is a pain in the butt. <laughs> if you budget your time properly, you can do your entire science project the night before it's due. <laughs> In fifth grade, we realize that the teacher likes the smart kids better. And that even if you can't talk in class, you can still pass notes. If you talk about people behind their back, they always hear about it. Everything is easier with a calculator. In sixth grade, we found out that when you pass a note to a girl asking whether she likes you or not, always make the yes box bigger. <laughs> Money tends to disappear at an alarming rate, but there's never a recession in Exchange City. In seventh grade, we found out that lockers are hard to open and close. Junior high is a big and scary place. Taking showers in gym class with a bunch of strangers is really awkward. Recess was good while it lasted. Everybody who's anybody belongs to a clique. In eighth grade, we learned that sometimes you get zits and there's nothing you can do about it. Kissing girls isn't nearly as icky anymore. And, and if you score a touchdown or get good grades or get a good part in the play, they put your name in the paper. Everybody's good at something and nobody's good at everything. And the most important question you can ask is, will this be on the test? <laughs> Ninth grade, algebra is pointless. Asking a girl to a dance is really awkward. Going to a dance with a girl is even worse. From now on, your grades really count, so they better be good. If you mark outside the ovals, the computer may not be able to grade your answers. In 10th grade, we discovered that driving is fun. Thanks to coffee, sleep is now optional. <laughs> Parking spots are a rare and valuable commodity. Everyone else gets to stay out later than you. <laughs> if you drop a match down a pipe in the smoking section, <laughs> they let you out of class for now. <laughs> in 11th grade, we found out that girlfriends are expensive. <laughs> Even in a brick building, you still have to have fire drills. <laughs> if you sleep in class, you'll have enough energy to do your homework at night. <laughs> Public displays of affection are gross. Clicks are dumb. Friends are very important, so hang on to them. Finals suck. Censorship, not said. In 12th grade, we found out that college applications and standardized tests are designed to torture teenagers. Kissing girls is definitely not icky, but if you're not careful, you can die from it. The student newspaper is primarily a forum for evaluating assemblies. Something is very, very wrong if the Lawrence High School football or volleyball teams lose a game. If you sleep during class, you'll have enough energy to goof off at night. <laughs> for no particular reason, some people are afraid of people who are different from themselves. And that sucks. With careful planning, nap time and recess can once again be achieved. <laughs> In the LHS parking lot, it's easier to get a parking ticket than it is to get a parking spot. Neither the new drug contracts nor the new attendance policy have really changed anything. But... Whoops. Whoops. but after this year, everything will change. If you're having trouble getting to class on time, put on a clown suit and ride your motorcycle to class. But steer clear of the trash cans. Well, we left a few things out.
But that's a pretty good list of what we learned during our 13 years of public education. Of course, our education is not even close to complete. Many of us are moving on and choosing to pay a lot more money to be educated further. But even after we're done with school forever, we are never done with education. Life is an educational process, and we can learn from all people and all things. We need to strive to keep ourselves informed, aware, and ever conscious of new and different ideas. This time I would...
for me. I'll take your picture. Feeling good? Yeah! yeah. All right. Where's Dom? 